I was on the road in Australia and I was summoned to the lobby by an indigenous group called the Murning Tribe, one of the oldest cultures on this planet, who presented me with a male swan's white feather. This gave me goosebumps because Dad had told me, if something happens to me, the way that I'll let you know that I'm going to be okay, or that everybody's going to be okay, will be uh, in the form of a white feather. That hit home. Henceforth, I created the White Feather Foundation. That helps many causes, but those close to my heart. With everything I do, if there's money to be made from that, a proportion will definitely go to the White Feather Foundation. Well, I decided to bring these items to auction, Julian's auctions especially, because I guess I've been getting to that age where I wanted to clear house a little bit. Most of the things that I've collected over the years have been very, very personal. I managed to gather these items for my collection over the last 30 years. None of the stuff was handed down to me. They're an exciting part of the Beatles' history, that's for sure. We have a lot of yellow submarine cells up for grabs. The film was very special to me, as I recall seeing it for the first time when I was about six, seven years old. I fell in love with it. I'd never seen anything quite like it with all of the awards, I went a little OTT. <laughs> These gold albums and platinum albums and all kinds of albums are limited editions. They only made a few. I think it's magical to have a piece of history like that. These are pretty special. To be able to own a little piece of history and a little piece of magic, I think that's pretty important. People dream of this stuff. And in being able to help the White Feather Foundation at the same time, well, for me, I can't see anything but good. So, you know, enjoy. There's some beauties in there. <laughs>